Speaking of throwing, this man caught passes from the aforementioned Aaron Rodgers. Won a Super Bowl with him back in the day. That's right. Man, I forgot about, I can't believe I forgot about Greg Jennings' theme song. I see him every day or every other week on First Things First. Does a great job. He's in there eating his celery and uh, rice. and He's still shredded it's a or pretty not? Bland, oh, he's shredded, yeah. It's a pretty bland, uh, bland All right, Chris, menu. Oh, that the, the, the intro's so. too long. I need to get at Greg Jennings, right. okay? Greg Jennings, welcome. What's up? That might be the nicest thing you hear on uh, this interview. <laughs> what up? What up? How you Chris, doing, man? man? What's up, Chris? It's been a long time. Rob has been a long time, man. I wish I could hug you. I know you're going to be polite because we ain't seen each other <laughs> talk to each other in a long time. Wow. Man, it's like long lost family, man. You embrace them. <laughs> yes. You encourage them. You talk good to them. Oh. Okay, so how at me. What's up? Hey, right. what's up, cuz? What's up, family? What's up, fam? I got an issue with you, Greg Jennings. <laughs> oh, whoa, right out the gate. Yes. You know he ain't wasting no time, Greg. We no, talked to you. Be, me and Chris both, we attacked you like a, like a dog attacking some uh, fresh meat. I mean, when you told us that Daniel Jones was a top 10 quarterback in the NFL, coming off of last year's stats, forget about uh, what you think he might turn into coming off of last year's stats, and then I get it. He wasn't the only bad thing that happened in that game. But he didn't look good, and they gave him a ton of money. He is not a top-10 quarterback, and I want you to make your case or step down and say you made a mistake, one or the other. Who is this, an ultimatum? Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When, when, you, when you back somebody into a corner like me, man, I come out boxing, man. Let me Uh-oh. tell you something. Let me tell you something. When you want to talk about that, I was waiting on this moment because I knew you were going to come and lead with this. Like, let's not act like we didn't all watch that game where Daniel Jones could not drop back and take a single step un- from under center without pressure being in his face. Now, I get it. He didn't look great. But when great. you're under the- Didn't look great. That's an understatement. Are you kidding? He was awful. The entire Giants team looked awful. It was not just Daniel Jones. But let That's me finish true. my point. Let me finish my point. Like, there was nothing outside of even, even the first drive. I mean, the first drive was like, whatever, running the ball. They moved the ball down. So after that, everything just left. They were, there was no protection. Daniel Jones was playing fearful. Like, he looked like he was playing, throwing the ball, trying to just get rid of it. He didn't know where the pressure was coming from. He was completely rattled. I give you all of that. I am not at all going to remove my two feet that have been planted into the cement in the talk of Daniel Jones as a top 10 quarterback. What? No, we are setting it up on a platter for you. We're giving you a waver. chance to because come off this I'm mountain. Tell you why I'm not going to waver. I'm not going to waver because we saw a lot of quarterbacks struggle. Like, we're not going to sit here and say, what was up with Lamar? What is he doing? We're not saying yeah, that. Yeah, but Lamar won an MVP. I mean, we're talking about we've right. seen They've what Lamar can do. Oh, they have Lamar had, They got a track record. Last year, Daniel Jones had 15 games in seven, in 15 touchdowns in 17 games and had two 300-yard games, both against the worst defense in the league, the Vikings. That's all he had last year. So, so you basically, so you basically saying Daniel Jones is trash. The season right now, from what we just saw Sunday night, it is what it is. He is trash. He's not top ten. That's basically. Oh well, he definitely. All I wait a minute, Chris. 10. All I know is That's- Daniel Jones the other day in Jersey. Uh, he heard the garbage truck. He went outside with the garbage, and, the, and he asked the garbage man, he said, am I too late for the garbage? And the garbage man said, no, jump in. That's all I'm going to tell you. <laughs> well, what, was, was, was the entire roster there? Because they all, they all, they all. I, 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 Greg, they all in trouble. I, you know, I picked, you might have been on the show with me, first things first. I picked them to finish last in the NFC East, and I'm feeling awfully good about that pick. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. <laughs> All right, look, we, we'll we see. We'll see. It's one game. You're right, but he was horrible. I just, look, I'm not as down on him as some, but top 10, there's no way. 
that that's what my issue is with. He's that he's top ten. But anyway, let's stick with the quarterback position. Um, do you think the Jets can go with Zach Wilson? I mean, that like like they got any prayer of making the playoffs with him? I think they do, man. I think a lot of a lot of what we saw of Zach Wilson, obviously all of what we saw of Zach Wilson was, you know, a young quarterback trying to come in and establish himself in this league and he struggled. He's never had a true like a guy like Aaron Rodgers, at least even a voice that could kind of lead him. Now obviously he didn't he didn't think that he was gonna have to step into this role right here, right now. You know, Monday night football that early into the game, uh, what have you. But I do think he's going to be a lot better than what we've seen of him in the past. Based just on what, Greg? Based on what? Just, Where do you get just, that from? It's based off of what, I, what I've seen with him in the relationship with Aaron Rodgers, man, and having a guy that can actually still sit down and break down film and tell him what he's doing wrong. I'm not saying that he's going to be a world beater because he doesn't have to be when it comes to that defense and them not giving up a lot of points and scoring touchdowns. All he has to do is be able to manage the game. We've all seen quarterbacks able to manage the game and not hurt their team. But, but Greg, this is my issue. I, I hear that, and that, that sounds logical. And I, you're right, we have seen that. So why didn't they work on that last year, give him reps, and allow him to be that quarterback because they told everybody and their uncle he couldn't play. They played th- four different quarterbacks last year rather than play that kid, and now everybody's going to sit here and tell me that he's the guy that's going to get lead them to the playoffs when they were playing they, they were playing a Mike White and all these other guys because they didn't believe in him for one ounce to be the guy you're talking about. So here's the here's the thing. Here's what I would say to that. You're absolutely right. They didn't believe in him, and neither did he believe in himself. And I think that's the, that's been the main problem. When you have lost confidence, it's no different than Makai Beckton. Like, when you've lost confidence, you need someone that you feel like, I can sit back behind, and they're going to pour some confidence in me just based off of what I experience with them, what I see, and what they then now pour into me. That has been Aaron Rodgers. Regardless of what he's been in the past, regard, that has been what he's he's had to uh, had on his left and right side every single day walking onto that practice field. And so, when you have a guy that's going to continue to encourage you and to nurture you and have you believing even now more in yourself, only good things can happen. It doesn't mean that he's going to be the guy of the future. I'm not saying Zach Wilson is going to be you know all world. All I'm saying is I believe he's going to be better. And if you go, who can, who, who do you suggest they go get? Because there's no I, one I thought, Greg, there. I, no I thought you could try. Now, it, the Rams may not trade him, but you could try to trade for Matthew Stafford. And I would, look, I'm, I, I, I'm fine with the Jets giving this kid a few games. But I, I would call Carson Wentz's agent and say, we might come after him in a little while. Greg, Have he'll throw ready. three interceptions in a game, and fans will flip on this guy, and and the t- he'll lose his teammates. Watch Look, and see. I, I I I'm not I'm not saying that you're wrong. I think he's going to be better than what he was last year. Now, me even saying that, I'm not saying that. Yes, this is the guy that's going to take him to the promised land. I just don't see where you can look across the on, on any other team where you can plug a take away a, a quarterback and now insert him in a system that they don't there there's no familiarity bring a guy in off the street the veteran guy cuz they're not on any 30 32 of the rosters and say oh you know what we have any a better love for him. Wentz no love no, for Wentz absolutely not stop it stop it you the one saying Daniel Jones is all world right I got my god <laughs> That is our man, Greg Jenny. Greg, I love you, buddy, my man. We, we, I can't wait look, to give you a Freddy hug for when I see you. Coming on the show, man. And, not and, hugging you, man. I'm no, not hugging you, right? You knew you, you knew you were in trouble coming on, so we it's give you all good. For it's all good. Greg. I'm ready for it. I want, I want y'all to keep this same energy. All you listeners out there, y'all, y'all feeling this energy. Y'all, I want y'all to all keep this same energy because yeah, oh, we, we keeping it. 
we keep it. When, for when sure. Daniel Jones has evolved and emerged from underneath the garbage truck, and you thought he was in it, <laughs> it's going to be ready to go, baby. That's all right, man, Greg. Greg we'll talk to we'll you, you next week. week man. Next week. All right, fellas.